lost Wait, like 40 seconds what? to the D6. Wait, what? Hold on. Welcome to your first race on SRL. Once you are ready, type dot ready in this chat and wait for race bots go to begin. Oh my god, welcome M Chen. You've never done an SRL race before? I, I know, it's crazy. I know, uh, it's my- I know, I'm a newcomer. My, this is gonna be my first run of the game, ever. Oh, nah. I can't believe I'm gonna be the, like, a complete underdog in this race. Grass, please. Grass, come on! Oh Why? boy, the Are newcomers you... ahead, guys! Oh my god, I'm to, so him, to get sub 120-100%. Well, he got burned out and he didn't want to run anymore. So my life wasted. Eight of those on the Photoshop. Definitely not wasted. Oh, man. That was close. Wait, you almost died a mold on him? I almost fell to mold. Yeah, I'm ready to I die. Almost, I almost clinked and got knocked into the pit. Oh, boy. Gold D1. Let's oh, go. What am I doing, dude? You got gold D1? Nice. Yeah. I might actually also get gold deal. What I, the hell? I almost. Hell yeah! What a good. <laughs> I picked up the heart piece. <laughs> nice. You're already done with D two. I'm sorry. Segment. I'm sorry, Corin. Don't ban me. Wrong quip. Oh, I need to up. How did I pick that up? Maybe I'll pick it up. Even though I didn't touch it at all, I was like three pixels below it. Like, the top yeah, that was weird though, and I touched it before, like, the flock clip. Okay, yeah, let, let me know if anybody gets a frame perfect uh, build skip because I oh, I'll like. I'm getting no problem. Uh, oh my god, I got frame perfect build skip, dude. Wow. Alright. You, you already made up so much time over me. Just weird things about this game. This game doesn't make sense. It's not that responsive. Actually, here's the thing, like, stuff, like, I have never experienced the weird stuff in any other category. Like, all glitched categories, everything is like normal. Everything is consistent. Really? It feels consistent. Really? But then, like, <laughs> I switched to a, to a no wrong up or out of bounds category, and I just experienced things I've never experienced before in my entire life with this game. Oh, it's too far to the left. I don't get it sometimes, dude. Like, it's one, it's like one pixel the and the whole thing doesn't work anymore. Do you not normally have 16 bombs? No, I normally have like eight. That's very little. Yeah. <laughs> for entering. In my last run where I got perfect rooster skip, I actually ran out of bombs. So. Yeah. I mean, I have. I usually have. Like 14 to 18 bombs entering D7. Damn. Consistently. Because I, because I get the pickup in D5. I also get the pickup in D5 now. And how do you, do you get the pickup in D4? Do you get the pickup in D4 at the beginning? I actually cannot do this bomb trigger, dude. What the fuck? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. It's a little sketchy, but it worked. Okay, hot head, please. Why am I running this category again? Uh, gold D2. If I gold D2, this junk can actually be okay. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, but if it's not a 4 ox it's not GG. that good. Hey, he's improved his personal best. But wait, it was his first run, though. Also, I know. You got a 53. Oh my god! Oh wow. Thanks, game. I don't know what reverse bit magic? Okay. Again, I've never played Skyward Sword, so... I wouldn't know what it is. Nice gold. This year, they found, um, in A Link to the Pass, there's a new, there's like a new glitch that like changes the route in no major glitches. But 
The thing about this new glitch is I don't agree with it because uh, in no major glitches, the rules state you're not allowed to do any clipping, right? Um, but this new glitch involves clipping through a pillar in a Ice Palace, which for some reason the community decides it's not a major glitch, which contradicts the depth, the uh, like the rule of no clips in the no no major glitches rule set, and so I like 100% disagree with it. But for some reason they decide to allow it, and I hate the fact that they allow it. I don't know, but people started doing run runs with it, so I assume it's okay, which it shouldn't be okay, in my opinion. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm not the only one who thinks that that's a major glitch. I think it's a major glitch. It's a clip. You can't clip in the by, by uh, the rule set that no major glitches follows. But for some, but it's not. It 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 says no clips allowed. Not some clips are not allowed. And then there's a new clip that that has been found. It's either today or yesterday, where like you use the Canis Samaria in like the basement part of Swamp Palace, and then you just you buffer some sword slashes in order to um, nudge yourself inside like a railing, and then now you're like inside the water and you can walk inside the water. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything in NMG, but if that somehow gets allowed in NMG, then I quit. Oh my god. Oh my- oh my god, that's bullshit. Dude, some people, they think that, like, Nava Percent's super easy in NSLU, and so it's like they recommend people to like, hey, you should try Nano Percent, it's so beginner friendly. No, it is not beginner friendly. In fact, it's actually harder than uh, if you were to do a normal percent run because Nabbit can't fly. Not making your life any easier by only playing as Nabbit. In fact, Nabbit Percent's basically your acorn list category that some people want on the boards. Technically, it's on there. It's Nabbit percent. Nabbit can't use the acorn. Nabbit technically has big power up. There you go. There's your acorn one. Why? That was definitely my fault too. I forgot. I was supposed to spin jump. And then when you actually like play as Nabbit in Mario U, it sucks because the levels are not designed to be played as Nabbit. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, pee pee hands. No percent in this game, uh, 104 is possible. And uh, my son best in uh, OG NSLU is. 101, 24, I think. And so, if, if 104 is possible in normal percent, that means in total all castles loses like 3 minutes. Well, Deluxe loses 3 minutes in all castles. And that's not including the extra menuing that normal percent has to do to switch from Luigi to Nabbit and vice versa. Are you kidding? Wow. I'm mad. Alright, well, I can't PB anymore. That's stupid. Wait, what? I'm, I'm mad. That's the wrong. Alright, whatever. I thought the bottom had an acorn. I thought the bottom one was the one that had the acorn. You don't need an acorn for the secret exit, but um, you, you have to go- you just have to get the secret exit from the right side. 
Dude, Blue X comes back to NSLU whenever I come back to NSLU. It's kind of funny how it works out. I think it's the fact that if he sees me playing NSLU or Mario U, he knows it's competition. And so he just kind of comes back to, in order to keep up with the competition. Dude, the other day I saw him streaming Mario 64. Like, he was learning 120 stars. I was surprised that he would learn that because, I don't know. He's pretty good at Mario Maker. I don't know, for me, I run Zeldas, and then I run this game as well. It's not a Zelda game. I used to run the 3D series, but then the 3D Mario games started becoming not fun for me to run. So I left all four games. And I, and I, and I say four because I, I, I haven't done a run of Odyssey. Well, actually, it, it should technically be five because I did run Mario 64 DS a couple times. I watched speedruns of Odyssey. They look fun, but I don't have the desire to, to run it at all. People keep telling me to run it, but no. I've also had people ask me to tell me to run Celeste. Also, no. The thing about me learning new speedruns is that anytime I try to run something out outside of the games that I normally run, like, in my mind, I immediately just want to stop. If I end up not actually being interested in the speedrun, then I think to myself, man, I could be using this time to optimize to optimize NSLU, or I could be using this time to optimize Link's Awakening. Because those are the games that I enjoy that I actually enjoy running. And those are the games I run regularly. Like if I'm gonna learn a new game, it's gonna be a game that I know that I'll see myself getting good at. That's how I got into the Link to the Pass. I saw myself getting pretty decent at Link to the Pass. That's how I saw that's how I got into NSLU. I saw myself getting potentially getting good at NSLU, and that's also how I got myself how I got myself into Link's Awakening. I saw myself getting good at Link's Awakening. I don't run Odyssey because I don't see myself getting good at Odyssey. Oh yeah, maintaining the interest in in the speedrun is also important as well. I knew it. Fuck, dude. God damn. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep going. I've reset enough. Okay. okay. Why? Okay, I'm done. That's bullshit. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fuck off. That's bullshit. Well, 
Had I got better luck with Iggy, I would have probably gold that by a bunch of seconds. Oh well. Still forty eight, wow. Crazy. Yeah, I'm a winner. Ridiculous. I'm mad. Legit limit. I'm I'm legit mad. I just lost seven seconds. It's not even gonna be sub Set though. I'm so upset that we lost eight seconds in this in this level. <sighs> Ridiculous. But whatever. PB is PB. Well, I've only I've only came back to this game for three weeks now. And the reason is because I'm trying to make sure I don't suck during LTTC Marathon. And I'm gonna be running NSLU Deluxe, uh, All Castles, which is what I'm running right now, and uh, Pokemon Red. Yeah, I've ran Pokemon Red. I don't run it very seriously, but I, I do run it. When I found out that I'm running Pokemon Red for the event, I was really surprised because Pokemon Red is not really a game that I run seriously. Like, the thing is, is that, the funny thing is, I submitted Pokemon Red as, like a, as a joke submission. Like, I wasn't actually serious about getting Pokemon Red in. I just submitted it just for the heck of it. And then, the next thing I knew, it actually got accepted. Dude, the multiplayer is fun. At least the versus mode. The versus mode is really fun. But the Mario vs. Luigi mode was so fun. It was so fun because... I have never lost a single match in the Mario vs. Luigi mode. I have never lost a single match in the Mario vs. Mode. 
King J is playing Mario Odyssey. Thanks for stream bombing me. Oh boy. Friend request received. I wonder who could that be? It's probably from some guy that I've never heard of in my life. Oh man, so um, today I went to a tea place for a drink and called Rare Tea and you know their, their drinks are pretty good. Now one of the things that kind of bothered me was their menu because on their menu one of their one of their things is um, uh, okay so it's like every drink place like they all their drinks are categorized in different sections. And when I looked at one of the sections, it was like, I think it was fruit teas, and it's strawberry black tea, and it showed up twice on the same section, on the fruit tea section. And it bothers me because I don't know why it shows up twice, and it's even the same price too. Same, same exact price tag, and it shows up on the menu twice. I actually, I really wish that I could have just gone up and asked them why Strawberry Black Tea is on there twice, but I was just, for some reason, just afraid that they were going to judge me hecka hard for, like, pointing out something that was probably a potential mistake on their menu. Fuck off, that was my fault. No! No, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Did y'all see that? <laughs> Hello? Funny how many people want Waluigi as playable character in um, Smash Ultimate. But man, make Waluigi a playable character. Yeah, we'll we'll put we'll put Waluigi in Smash Ultimate. But there he is. He's an assist trophy. There you go. There's your present. So slow, come on. I knew it. What do you do there? Like that fire bro was gonna shoot me. I was either gonna get hit, hit by the fire bro or the uh freaking skewer. So the normal path to the game is um like after completing both worlds four and three, uh you go to world five. Uh, before World 5, there's an intermission level, which is an airship level. 5 airship. The problem with doing 5 airship is that there's a very long cutscene right before starting the level. And then the level itself is a, like a super long auto-scroller. Uh, and then the boss fight itself is just like super painful. And then there's a very long cutscene after uh, five airship. So all that is a three and a half minute level. And so by unlocking the secret exit for 2-4, you don't know, like the secret exit for 2-4 takes you to roll five. And backtracking all the way to 2-4 to do the secret level is faster than doing the airship. Because the, the secret level is really short, and it's short enough that it's worth it. You, you saw how short that level was, and then even taking this long pathway up to World 5, this is still faster than taking the airship. Why would you jump? 
Lovely. Alright, I'm not finishing that. The run was good, actually. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Go away! Fuck, this is bad. I knew it! Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. My 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 right thumb is starting to feel sore from holding Y.